Hello, horsey people. We're back with Rival Stars Horse Rose Thing. Um, we are using genetics. <laughs> yeah, we're using genetics today to breed my favorite coat patterns. So firstly, I think we need to establish what my favorite coat patterns are. Um, so I've kept a bunch of really cool looking horses here, a variation of them as well. Whoa, we didn't tie this. I've got to sell this foal. This foal's so rare and I've just got to sell them. I do have a bit of space in my pasture for the odd extra foal or whatever but um yeah i've only got twenty one thousand. this is actually the uh scraps of when we did the uh spending a hundred a hundred million dollars <laughs> yeah we um spent a lot of money oh my goodness it was an hour long video i'm so sorry guys it was so long but today we're gonna be using genetics to breed my favorite coat patterns which i'm really excited about because actually since having rival stars a couple of years ago, I've I always used to guess, but my guesswork was great. Well, I thought it was great. Uh, I thought it was really good. So I'm gonna get rid of any duplicates today because we don't need them. That's lovely. I love this pinto. In general, I love pintos. I love coloured horses. I think they're great. You know, in real life, I've got, I have lots of gypsy vanna type horses. So you know, I have all those. Um, you guys can actually go check that out if you wanna. If you wanna. Um. I have a channel called Lady Ranger Vlogs. I do want to get cracking with it a little bit, but at the same time, I've just sold this horse for some reason. I don't know why, but it's very pretty. Oh no, let's sack on. Great. I'm going to sell everything that's not level 10. I know it's terrible and I shouldn't because look, these got all co cool coat patterns, but they're not my favorite coat patterns. So we're going to keep a couple of the really cool coat patterns here and then we're going to... I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have to have some research of hidden genes because I'm going to keep some of them that are like dilutes and stuff so I can actually breed some cool colours. What we might do is do sort of a series type thing where these are my favourite coat patterns, but then what we'll do is we'll be using genetics to breed black horses, using genetics to breed greys, palominos, dapples, that kind of thing. So there is a new genetic system type thing <laughs> it's not i didn't think it's very good the latest update i didn't think was i think oh it's great i love having an update thank you pickpock for giving us an update i don't want to be like ungrateful but i feel like it just didn't make any difference it just looks different so gonna keep flame she's a cool color but i must admit at the moment my favorite coat patterns are this one love this i think it's really cool this one here is actually a hidden ombre pinto you can't see it too well with the Cremello, but it's it's nice. I actually do like this Pinto stripe a lot. Um, I seem to have a lot of my favorite colors at the moment, but we're gonna we're gonna try and breed some favorite coat patterns today based off of genetics, and uh, it's gonna go really well, obviously, because <laughs> it's me. Oh, it always goes well my breeding, you know. Um, yeah. So if we have a look here, so display. Oh, okay, here we go. So these are genes and stats so unfortunately because we're going to use stallion so we're going to use the stallions of the market okay so he's got okay so this is interesting so actually it's the dilute and stuff you've got to be careful of so i think oh goodness like that would be a cool combo that could potentially breed a gray i kind of want to see if that comes out gray is one of my favorite colors not one of my favourite coat patterns. Um, I do want to try and get some of my favourite... Oh, poo. Some of my favourite coat patterns today. Um, oh, the trouble is we can't see the hidden genes on the stallion. This is the only issue I have. So this could, could end disastrously. I mean, I'm all up for a black stallion. Black stallions are brilliant. Um, that's a lavish pintaloose. Dove is a lavish pintaloose. How? There's no spots on her. I'm so confused. Uh, this could be an interesting one. I think this could potentially breed a grey, maybe. Uh, so we'll just keep looking at the genes. So yeah, you have like your main base, you have your dino, and then your coat pan. Oh, I see. I'm being really stupid. That's a coat pan. Oh, Lady Ranger, come on. Um, want a donut? That could be that could be a good combo. I think that would probably do. I don't know what a grey with black. A black with a grey dilute could come out a bit like the other one we had. This these two I definitely want to breed. I think it's going to be a black horse. Possibly with a grey dilute, but we'll see. Um, I do love this colour. I'm hoping that we will get uh, maybe a grey version of that. But clearly, um, I'm an expert at this. I'm just going to have a little look here and see if there's... Oh, I do love the black stallion, but let's just have a little look and see what other stallions we have and like what their coats have and all that jazz. So nothing there that I really want to 
agree today. I don't know if there's certain genes that are um dominant. Like if I breed those two, will the double cream come through? I think it will, but I just don't like the splash white face. That's my only issue. I'm really, really against that. I just don't like it. Um, okay, oh, this is good because you can instantly see your creams. Ah, yeah, okay, so this one here is carrying cream. So we've got double cream with a cream. I think I said the word cream a bit there. Okay, let's have a look. Maybe that will, I don't know. I'm hoping that'll be a Cremella because I do like that coat. Um, let's go to another one of my favourite coats. Oh, I do like bubble bubbles. Um, let's go to Darling. Darling's got some pretty interesting coats. I would like to use this one, but for the sake of today, we're not breeding loads of foals today, and it's not hopefully going to be as long as yesterday's video. I am terribly sorry about that. Uh, I got a bit carried away. Ah, oh, like this here. So if we have a look at this Palomino, he's carrying... In okay, this could end up disastrous. I just... I'm not a big fan of Rabacano. Oh, no, and that one's got a hidden Rabacano. That could end up being not a good idea let's not do that let's not do that i don't like rubber can i tell you what there's not been many that have had like let's go with habit confidence because that's got cream dilute let's see what the um i haven't had a lot of rubber canos lately basically okay so i think i thought <laughs> this is gonna be okay so the genetics i'm not very good at genetics so when we used to play like horse reality and horse eden eventing it's got all the special code stuff in the games where you can know your genetics and you guys a few of you tried to explain to me like oh if it's got this it'll equal this and i just read it about 400 times and it just doesn't go in my little noggin so i'm just gonna go with the colors okay there's two cremellos i well this was a black with a gray dilute so possibly gray i'm thinking gray well i can confirm that that is not gray <laughs> oh no so I tell you what let's look at the foal and see what genes the foal's taken from what parents but it did breed my favorite coat so you know can't really complain there right okay let's just go straight to my this is gonna need a name but for now i'm gonna call her zip zip zap do you guys remember the game Zip Zap? Did anyone play that? No. If you ever did like music theatre club or drama club, Zip Zap was the game. Zip Zap's great. Um, okay, so that's a stippled printle, pintle, blah, 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 pinto. Let's have a look. Okay, so turns out that I think, I think, let's have a look. Um, that was a black with nothing and a black. That's not quite black, is it? What is that? It's like a I don't know. Um, well, it came out like it's... Oh, okay, so the same colour as the... No, it just randomly came out bay then. Well, that's my theory out the window. So, so, so guys, don't watch the rest of this video because clearly I'm rubbish at this. Um, okay, so this had... What did we do with this one? This was like Palomino Stallion. So it's like Cremello. Okay, that's come out grey. Actually, that happens to me quite a lot with Cremellos and Palominos. You get this kind of like dusty grey. So we'll have a look. But it is, again, one of my favourite coat patterns. And I think I've been a bit fluky there. I definitely have been fluky. So let's skip her to Mare. I'm going to call her Fluke. Because that was a fluke. I'm pretty sure she's grey. I wanted a grey. Ah, she's like the... I don't even know what type of grey that is. It's like a gorilla grey. I just want to go to settings a bit quick, actually, guys. Um, Where are my settings? Here they are. Yeah, I just want to like boop that up because i felt like it was a bit quiet the other day with one of my recordings hopefully that's not gonna be like too loud now that'd be hilarious um okay i'll care everybody um where did my horse go there there's fluke okay so that's a bay with a cream dilute that's how it comes out so you got a cremello and the duda and then uh it's a smoky over which i do like but i'm still confused of how we have reached this point so there's double okay so my theory was that the double you need a double dilute, don't you, for it to come out? I just assumed there'd be loads of cream, like loads of cream dilution things, and then that would be it. Then that would be like, yeah. I don't know. That doesn't even look like a cream dilute. What even colour is that? It's like a, I don't know, like a dusty, dirty white colour. Well, Fluke and Zip Zap, you've been great so far. They're, hey, they're, they're interesting colours though, right? See? So, third time lucky, perhaps? Uh, don't hold your breath, guys. Don't hold your breath. Oh, it's Tovery Wave. Where's that come from? Oh, no, it's the dirty shoulder coming out. Oh, no. Using genetics to breed everything that I clearly didn't want. Right, okay. That's 
Oh no, what a plonk. What a plonker. Okay, um, let's... Silver? Uh, no, we'll keep false. Skip her to mayor, because I still want to see how... Let's call her Flag. Flag is a great name. Yeah, please give me some names. Okay, so she's cream-ish. I don't know what colour that is. It's like a cream thing. What are you? You're a Tovero wave with a cream and a something else. Well, that went really well. Okay, so how many stables have I got left? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I have a lot of stables free. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, Ugh. it's because um, I think the update meant you could buy more stables, which is great. Which is really great. Um, okay, so I'm going to... Right, come on, Lady Ranger. You can do this. You can do this. I just don't know what the hidden genes are. Ah, that's why we're not breeding stuff. Because I don't know what the hidden are. So we're using genetics here, guys. We're using genetics, I hope. So this Tipple Pindle, Pinto thing is very cool. Um, so you're carrying a Cromalo gene. So, like... If I refresh these... Let's refresh. Let's get another carrier of the cremello i do like that black sign so nice you like waffle you might do something so he's got a cream let's see what happens another stippled pinto would be lovely but i don't know i do like oh i like this guy he's very nice i do like a dapples actually i must admit see that color's nice it's got no dilute so let's see if the like gray dye even a double let's see if the double doodah comes out it's gonna be a rabbicano isn't it something horrific is gonna happen out of that oopsies okay um ah, blah, 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 blah. let's refresh the stallions once more i'd like to try and find a double dilute but this uh this one here looks quite good because actually that looks like a murky gray where that looks like a proper cremello type but i don't know what you get if see that's got hidden genes so i think that okay so my theory is two cream jeans gets a like cremello and that's what you should do in real life as well um i think a chestnut and a oh no so chestnut and cremello gets a palomino isn't it that's right guys we're off we are going to do a quick race uh try and get some wonga back in our bank account i'm actually going to ride myself because i fancy it today and uh yeah <laughs> there's not gonna be it's not gonna be the world's longest video i just said to you guys i just wanted to like have a go with genetics and stuff like that because i haven't really focused on it yet I suppose. Waiting for the start of Queen Victoria Park. Lady the horse that hunters favour. Okay. I was just about to ask where I was, but the it's the massive grey with the cool outfit. Off and running. A great start Whee! for the favourite Lady Wall Street Laughter. Look at us go. Trying not to do what I did last time and use all my green up. She says. Whoops. Been a bit eager beaver, I think. Just kick on, kick on, my friends. Okay, I have enough green for once. This is not like me. Bye bye, everybody. Look at us go. Oh, that chestnut's rapid behind us. Let's go. Oh, uh oh. Might turn that wrong. Ah, fine. Loads of space. Do you guys primarily like the breeding side of this? Or do you want to see like some more racing, maybe cross country, that kind of thing? Let me know in the comment section. Ooh. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I love this. This is great. So. I can't remember who I bred Zip Zap with. Well, we're going to find out. Oh, that's so cool. 
Yeah, totally on purpose. This is totally on purpose. I'm a genius. Well, this is really cool. I'm going to get a picture of this one, I think. I'm going to call this one April. Because it's April. Uh, let's just get a picture. It's so cute. Look how cool this is. It's actually a really unique looking fold. I have n I've literally bred a coat today that I've never bred yet. Brand new coat. Look at that. Brand new coat. Wowler. And it actually came out the way I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally Lady Ranger, yeah. Do, 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 do. That's awesome. Um, So, to be honest, let's, let's skip her to Mel. Let's see what she looks like. And then we can look at how the jeans ended up. The way they ended up. So, actually, that's a dark... <laughs> that's a dark bay. That's a dark bay. Um, That's a banded Appaloosa. Yeah, these are one of the new coats. I've not had this yet. So let's have a look at mum and dad. So there is a cream dilute going on. So I was hoping that, oh, okay. So we've got cream dilute with a bear to bay type thing. And then got a darker bay. I don't know if that's just luck of the draw. Cool. Okay. Nice one. Oh, we've got flag. Um, do, 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 do. Why am I looking at flag? I don't know. But at least we got a coat pattern I've never bred. I've literally never bred that before. So that's cool. Okay. Let's go straight in. Hopefully it's an ombre. Oh my word. Oh, did I say this was going to be a... Wait, hold up. Hold up. I think... I think it actually went right. <laughs> hold up, guys. Something I said about genetics has actually gone right. I'm pretty sure. Didn't I say this was going to be a Cremello? Am I going mad? My life is changing for me, guys. Oh my goodness. I never get anything right. I'm not selling the fall, no way. I just want to take care of the fall from it. Yes, yeah, call a hope. Because I am in hope that I didn't fluke this. I think, yes. I'm going to get a picture because she's so cute. Sorry, guys, I'm in picture mode again. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Okay, so it actually has gone right. This is insane. Um. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, do, 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 okay, let's skip her straight to Mare. And then we're going to know... What I predicted. I need to write this down on a bit of paper. That is a beautiful Cremello. Oh my goodness, I love her. Okay, so I'm getting the hang of this. So let's have a look at the genetics in a second. <gasps> Was this the one where I said there's going to be... Um, no, maybe not. <laughs> I think I've just been luck of the draw there. So the mum is the double dilute. And then the dad has nothing. So I guess the double dilute wins? If you know what I mean? So I suppose if you've got... If you breed... Okay, I'm going to go with this theory. Right, I'm going to breed Darling, right? With a stallion that has no other dilutes. So, like, it has to have no dilute. So, like, this one, for example. Let's just use this as an example. Like, even Hope. Like, even Hope. I'm pretty sure, like... So, let's go with Darling. I'm pretty sure this could come out as a Dapple Cremello. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Well, that's not a Dapple Cremello. It's cool, though. It's a ra It's an ombre. I love ombres, but it's... It, yeah, okay, my theory didn't work. I think, obviously, you're not always going to get the same coat pattern, are you? But it could have been a possibility, perhaps. Yeah, all right, Lady Ranger. Um, I'm going to skip her to Mare because she's really cool. Let's call you Snail. Snail's a great name. Cool. Oh, it's a really cool colour, actually. Love that. Snail. Snail, snail. I do like this coat pattern. I must admit, the sparse leopard is, is up there as one of my favourites. I'd love to try and breed that, but we haven't got it in the stable block at the moment. Uh, and we're only playing with genetics today. We're not actually trying to get different coats. We have accidentally, obviously, bred this awesome one here, which I'm really chuffed about, but yeah. That went all right. So it's going all right so far. So I don't know how many foals we have left. I think we have flame. Oh, we only have flame left. Okay, we're going to do... i tell you what. We'll do two more for good luck. And then we'll leave it there today. And I, I clearly don't have a clue what I'm talking about. So let's go with something with a double... Can I find a stallion with a double dilute? Like, I could go with this one. Let's go with the Palomino. With, um... <laughs> Not snail. Um, snail's a great horse. Um, yeah, we could try that. Let's go with spring. I'm not sure because the last time that came out black. So 
Man, I suck at this. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Okay, I'm going to go with my theory um, that I came up with about breeding the double doodah with nothing. Just depends, obviously, what the stallion's got in his hidden genes. I think that's probably going to be key as well. I keep forgetting about that. So we've got two Cremellos there and this Ginger Ninja. So let's go straight in. I love that. It's the it's the mum's coat, which is great because that's actually what I wanted to be there. Yes, cool. Let's skip you to my friend. She's gorgeous, isn't she? I love that. The toe very wave is actually really cool. Um, I really like that coat pattern. Or this new coat pattern. I think they had quite... I can't remember how many coat patterns they had now. They had a lot. They had, like, a lot. Okay. All right, moving on. Moving on. Right, straight into spring. I'm thinking it's going to be a Cremello. Oh, I was so close. I was so close, right? <laughs> no, Lady Ringy, you were not close. I was. Okay, I love this. Palomino. Oh, poo. All the way. I'm going to call you. Are you ready? Guys, are you ready for this amazingly original name? I'm going to call you Yellow. Yellow Bolly. Yay. Excellent. Okay, let's go classic. We're going to go boom. We're going to go boom. Uh, let's put like a different thing here. Yeah, that's cool. So actually the Cremello and the slightly lighter Palomino, whatever you call him, came up with this. Um, So I'm hoping, let's have a look. Let's age yellow up. And let's see what happened. Ah, just like his dad. Cool. Yeah, really chuffed with that. I still don't have a clue how I got there, but it, it's nice. <laughs> so it's definitely got a cream dilute. I'll tell you that, guys. So if it's red with the cream dilute, it comes out as Palomino. That's why red being chestnut with a Cremello stallion. Or is it always a Cremello stallion that you need? I can't remember. Anyway, I think, guys, that's it. Oh, no, there's one more. Lady Ranger, what are you doing? I only have Darling left. Okay, Darling's going to be the last one for today using genetics. I feel it's gone very well. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, no, that's actually worked. I said it was going to be a Cremello. No, that actually worked, right? I said I had the possibility of being a Cremello. Do you know what's really annoyed me about this foal? It's a beautiful foal, but it's got the dirty shoulder on the thing. <laughs> Why? Why, Rival Stars, do we need that there? I really like this foal. This foal is staying. Look how gorgeous she is. I'm going to just get a quick... I'm going to call you... Um, What day is it today, actually? Monday. I'm going to call you Monday. Monday, Tuesday, happy days. That reminds me of Friends. Anybody watch Friends here? Love that. That show. So cheesy. It's one of those things you can just watch no matter what mood you're in. Normally, if I'm in a vacant mood, I will watch it. Look how cute the fall is. So actually, I don't know how. So let's age the fall up. And that the genetics actually went well. So out this whole video, a few of them have gone well. Like, I've used the genetics boards thing to breed a colour or a coat pattern specifically. So I wanted a Cremello Ombre and I got one. My goodness. never These things never happen to me. So yeah, I bred... Yeah, okay, I bred with the, um, yeah, that, that's really cool. So yeah, that literally happened. Excellent. I can't explain it, but it worked. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like I deserve a like because at least this last fall went right. Or aka a carrot for the video. That'd be super helpful. We are gaming. Well, we're not gaming, but we're going live on Friday night for a live Q&A. So yeah. If you guys want to tune in, it'll be 6 p.m. UK time. And I don't know quite what that is in the rest of the world. You can Google it, I'm sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a awesome rest of your day. Check your subbed. You've got your notification bell on and all that jazz. Thank you so much.